All right, y'all, we're here with Matt Rogers, man. I've known this guy for like forever, but he has never known who I was, dude. So how'd you get to know me? Gorgeous Logan, how do I not know you? This is how I know you, bro. Boom, boom, boom. I had to watch my kids do it for like a year before I'm like, why do they keep doing that? And then they showed me, and then here we are. It was Destiny. It was Destiny. All right, but so what brings you to Nashville? Uh, I was filming a TV show called Coming Home on Lifetime where we brought home soldiers and surprised their family. That was nine years ago, and I bought land out here and I've been here ever since. Man, man. Like you, you're here to film yeah. and you'll never leave. I know, I don't want to. <laughs> so man, so what TV shows, are, I mean obviously man, I've known this guy since Gold Rush era, bro. This is literally like, we're talking like 2010, 2013. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, I was a finalist on season three of American Idol and you probably were like five when I was there. So you. You didn't, vote, my age, you didn't vote for Fantasia. Uh, so she beat me. And then from there, I got into hosting TV shows. So really big things on Discovery Channel, not Spice Channel or Playboy Channel. Really big <laughs> things on Discovery Channel. Um, and then uh, There Goes the Neighborhood on CBS, Beat the Chefs, Coming Home, Gold Rush, Deadliest Catch, Hallmark, Home and Family on the Hallmark yeah. Channel, and um, a bunch of stuff in between. What's your favorite show, dude? Let's be real here. That I did or in yeah. general? That you did. My favorite show ever, Coming Home on Lifetime, because it was it was significant. Like, I was really changing lives. Like, I was bringing soldiers home to their kids. Like, you know, little Johnny hadn't seen his dad in a year, and we would dress him up. Like, my favorite one was we went to a Raider game. 80,000 people, and the sun kicks a field goal, and the Raider player's holding it. And he kicks a field goal, and he realizes when his dad pulls the helmet off, and his dad was holding it the whole time. I cried the whole time. Dude, that had to be hard. Oh yeah, it was. It was sad, but it was awesome. Yeah. So you love TV, dude. You love being on TV, and man, you just love watching yourself at home, right? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I love filming. I've always loved to make people laugh. Right. Like I remember when I was like five years old. Back then, we had little cassettes, yeah. and I would make my own variety show. And I would interview like my cousins and my dad. And so I've loved filming, but to be honest with you, man, it's really uncomfortable watching myself and listening to myself. Yeah. It's weird. That's good. That's good. Um, so let's be real here, man. What was Gold Rush like? Dude, that's one of my favorite shows. Dude. I haven't watched it in forever now. I mean, I just been so busy. Like I grew up, dude. That's yeah. the problem, and I don't have time for that anymore. Like what we're doing right now. Like I mean, this is all I've been doing for the last like eight months. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, like I I love. I love doing the dirt on Gold Rush because I like hard work and these guys work their butts off. So to go to Alaska and watch how they would take dirt and find the gold in the dirt, yeah. that stuff fired me up. Dude. I love that stuff. And the guys, the guys were cool to me, man. There's a couple that were cooler than others, but like Todd Hoffman. He was a kick ass dude. He was awesome to me. Todd was really, really good to me and still is. He's my buddy. So you have lifelong friendships in that show. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, so what was it like? Okay, so Tony Beats, man, he's a hell of a guy, dude. Tell me something about him. Tony Beats is awesome. So like every other word in Tony's an F-bomb, uh, right? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. They That's call him hear. Tony Bleeps, right? So, but he's got a heart. He loves his kids, he loves his wife. So when I tell him about my family, my wife, my kids, like he would get choked up. And you don't see that about yeah. Tony, but dude, he's Tony he's cutthroat, dude. Tony Tony seems like a guy that gets to the point and get out of my face. Like, that's just what he seems like. Yeah, he does. So what was Deadliest Catch like? I mean, I've, I've heard of it. I've watched it a little bit, not much, but, like, tell me something about it. So, what I didn't do is I never went on the boats, and I never fished for crab like all the, all the captains. I would sit down after they come home and talk about all the dangerous stuff as if I did it with them, right? But, like, dude, Sig was awesome. Um, all of the captains, man, those, they were really good to me. They actually, they made me bite the head off of oh. a bait fish. Oh. Yeah, that was bad. Oh. That was bad. All right, so, I mean, oh, God. Oh, dude, oh. Okay, so that's pretty cool, but, um, what, do you get seasick or something? Is that why you went out on the boat with them, or what? No, I grew up fishing. I was the guy that would interview all the fishermen. I wasn't, I'm not actually a fisherman. I would never do that. Dude, those guys drink, like, a Red Bull and smoke like a pack of cigarettes or a carton of cigarettes a day. <laughs> it's a hard life, dude. That's not. That's life. not you, right? That's no. not you at all. I mean, they leave. They live on the ocean for like eight months. Yeah, eight months. Yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. I like here. I like the land. We're safe. <laughs> we are safe. Yeah, exactly. So obviously.
obviously, you know, you're, you're, you're really on that one. Yeah. Uh, so, like, do people recognize you on the street, like, at all? I mean, I sometimes. You at first. Sometimes. But, you see, he's actually the first person to call me Buffy. I did! I remember he's like, what's up, Buffy? And I'm like, what? You call uh, me Buffy? I couldn't, I I couldn't type, man. I have a hard time typing, dude. See you soon, God. Buffy. Yeah. Uh, no, so, yeah. I mean, once in a while, it's cool, but uh, I like when people call me Buffy. <laughs> Yeah, y'all y'all need to go check it. What do you want? You're on Instagram as TikTok now. Well, Everything. Everything's Matt Rogers USA. M A T T R O G E R S USA. And um, yeah, DM me because I will actually talk back. I don't. Yeah. I don't ghost people. Yeah, I DM you for six months. You still haven't replied to me in four years. That's so not true. <laughs> liar. That's so not liar. True. Um, but all right, y'all. I mean, I grew up watching this guy. Literally. I, seriously, I'm not even joking, man. Awesome. I grew up watching this guy. I grew up watching. The Dakota boys fight the water at Fourteen Pine Creek down at the bottom of the glory hole with the hop and start first started that man. You remember them days, but he was right there. And now here we are. Yeah. Together. Um, yeah, look at that, dude. Um, so next time we're down here, we're gonna get another interview with this guy. We're gonna take care of y'all. Y'all need to check this guy out, man. He's gonna he's gonna make you he's gonna make you laugh, dude. Literally, like good manner here. Buffy. Thank y'all. <laughs> <laughs>